Hey, welcome back. It is uh, Tuesday. I'm recording this on Tuesday, and hopefully after today, I will be uh, I'll be able to catch up a little bit, and then we won't have to worry about late episodes again. It might happen, you know, but I'm I'm getting it. I'm sticking to the schedule, and uh, we're starting chapter two, slide two, chapter two. I'm thinking uh, for slide two, I'm going to switch episodes to ten Another minutes parted surface as a heads up. So the boys and I loaded up the van. We're going to India. In on our next target, a mysterious spice lord known as Rajan. Rajan, a self-made man who grew up poor on the streets of Calcutta, he started his life a crime selling illegal spices in the black market. Eventually, growing his small outfit to a sizable operation, making that that dope money. In the prestigious claw gang, he since crowned himself Lord of the Hills. And while he goes to great lengths to convince others of his royalty, Lord of the Hills, mostly to convince himself. Trudeau the hills have eyes. A lavish ball in his newly purchased ancestral palace. The reason to show off his latest acquisition, the clockwork wings, the symbol of my enemy. If you saw the wings silhouetted against the night sky, it was already too late for you, especially if your name was Cooper. Yep. Sly's not a fan of the wings. Rajan believes displaying the wings will bring in prestige, and maybe they will, but they're also bringing me. Time to fuck shit up. Sly Cooper and the gang in. Ooh, intrigue. A starry-eyed encounter. Some some a little bit Carmelita Fox in there. Also, I don't know why these episodes aren't appearing in uh, 60 FPS on YouTube. I don't know. They are in 60 frames per second. So, look at these elephants with fucking spotlights on their back. So our safe house is here outside of the hills. Look our van's nice and tucked away over here. So we have to find a way in first. With the drawbridge up, the only way across that river is on those conical rocks. Do you remember how to spire jump? Spire jump. What? You think I forget one of the Cooper family's greatest thief moves? Whenever I'm near pointed objects, I just need to jump and hit the circle button to perform a ninja spire jump. Yeah, ninja spire jumps. Ryoichi Cooper thought of this one, I believe. Oh, I like the the spire. I love the idea of like legit ninja spire jumping. Ooh, look at this! The first of many. That's right. We're in a new area. That means we got bottles to collect. I totally forgot about the bottles. You keep tweeting me, texting me. I'm trying to let's play over here. Close one. All right. Just trying to get bottles in this episode. I probably won't be able to get them all. So you see this this little piece of art though? Booby trap loot, run back to the safe house before it self-destructs. So Bentley can disarm it. I presume I don't know, they don't really ever establish it. Uh but you gotta get back to the safe house. Obviously this one's really easy because you're right there. But booby trap like by the end, I'm pretty sure like all the loot is booby trapped. And uh yeah. It's it rough. Burial urn. Combat dodge. Ah, this one is really great. Press X to purchase power up. Uh, we want to get Fist of Flame. Trigger bomb and combat dodge. So let me get my combat dodge on. Put this one on my R2. Combat dodge is actually like the most useful. Skill. You can actually only use it in combat, so. Alright, back to bottle collecting. Clue bottles, man. 
it, like every time I start collecting them, it really does bring up that nostalgia of having to use the the text guide. Like I know, I know, like it sounds bad, but it's like in real life, it's worse than it sounds. All right. Let me see. This area is actually pretty big. I think this is probably one of the bigger areas, uh, like surface area wise. Um, the there are a few areas, like I think in three chapters, uh, that are like much larger. Uh, what's the word? Like height wise. They're going up. They've got altitude. Altitude for days. So this is a first mission. Recon the ballroom. As you remember, we I've got to uh, take some recon photos. It's kind of how we you, you, you want to kick off just about every chapter. Kind of get an idea of where every, everything is. But first, we got to recon this whole level. So you see. Uh, all the way back there, I can actually go to. So it's, it's, it's very large area. There's a helicopter going around. Um, but, like, from here to there is pretty much everything. So, you know, it is one of those situations of, like, it's big but not too big. You know, for a PS2 game, like, I would say if you, if you totaled all the sandboxes together, you'd have probably a fucking enormous game. Check. Oh, I'm sorry, I was checking time. Didn't mean to just like weirdly stop. So I'm gonna focus on the middle ones. After I kind of get these bottles around the edges. You can see there's a lot. This one is the fucking nightmare. That always haunts me. Let's see, I'm grab this piece of loot, see if I can finagle it back to the hideout at some point. Loot's gone. That's fine. I'll get it later. It's better if I don't have it. It's just something I can stress. One less thing I have to stress about, yeah. Alright. Twelve. Twelve bottles. It's just 18 left. Already almost halfway there. For me, totally forgetting about it before this episode happened. The hardest ones are over on this island. Uh, going around the edges and then kind of like getting the stuff in the middle is definitely the easier way to go about this also. At least for this level. Trying to think. I just don't want to miss any of this. It's like hanging down low on an edge. The DL. You know what I'm saying? It's these uh, these little spires. That'll fucking get you. See, like, here's one. It's easy to miss. I think the level after this has the harder to find bottles. So this one is still pretty open, pretty out there. Well, yeah, this, I think there's one down here. Nope. Okay, good. It is, you know, nice. You can hear them at the very least. Uh, 
finish up this little island. I do have to edit the podcast, so I'm like stressing about getting these episodes done. That's why, you know, it's just... Uh, especially because this game isn't like terribly too long. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm just okay with doing 10 minute episodes. Sometimes you just gotta cut back on time. Any down here? I think I got all. Of them. Oh, there's one. Oh, I'm remembering some of the missions in this uh, chapter. I'm excited. Next time on Alex Plays, we'll finish collecting these bottles. How's that sound? I think it sounds pretty good.